Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Cecrops, the king and founder of Athens who was half man and half serpent. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. It is said that the mythical Greek king Cecrops was born from the earth itself, had his top half shaped like a man and the bottom half in serpent or fish tail form. He was the first king and founder of Athens itself, though preceded in the region by earth-born Actaeus, king of Attica. Cecrops was a culture hero, teaching the Athenians marriage, reading and writing, and ceremonial burial. During his reign Athena became the patron goddess of the city of Athens in a competition with Poseidon, which Cecrops judged. They agreed that each would give the Athenians one gift and Cecrops would choose whichever gift they preferred. Poseidon struck the ground with his trident and a spring sprang up. The water was salty and was not thought very useful, whereas Athena struck the rock with her lance and an olive tree sprang up. Cecrops judged the olive tree to be the superior gift, for the olive tree brought wood, oil and food and consequently accepted Athena as their patron. Poseidon in a rare show of magnanimity decided to grant his gift regardless, although its nature was initially misunderstood. It was meant to represent sea power, which Athens were to exercise gloriously in the future. Nevertheless, according to Strabo, instead of Cecrops, it was Zeus that ordered that the twelve gods should be the ones to make the decision. And in accordance with their verdict, the country was adjudged to Athena, because Cecrops bore witness that she had been the first to plant the olive. Athena therefore called the city Athens after herself. Poseidon in hot anger flooded the Thracian plain and laid Attic under the sea. On another account, according to Varro, a Roman great scholar, the olive tree suddenly appeared in Attica and at the same time there was an eruption of water in another part of the country. So King Cecrops sent to inquire of Apollo at Delphi, what this portents might signify. The oracle answered that the olive and the water were the symbols of Athena and Poseidon respectively and that the people of Attica were free to choose which of these deities they would worship. Accordingly, the question was submitted to general assembly of the citizens, for in these days women had the vote as well as men. All the men voted for the god, and all the women voted for the goddess, and as there was one more woman than there were men, the goddess appeared at the head of the poll. Displeased at the loss of the election, Poseidon flooded the country with the water of the sea, and to appease his wrath, it was decided to deprive women of the vote and to forbid children to bear their mother's names for the future. The Athenians said that the contest between Poseidon and Athena took place on the second of the month of Oedromion, Aga, beginning in midsummer with the lunar month of Hecatomveon, and hence they omitted that day from the calendar. Cecrops was the father of three daughters, Erse, Pandrosus and Aglaulus. To them was given a box or jar containing the infant Erichthonius of Athens to guard unseen. They looked, and terrified by the two serpents Athena had set within to guard the child, they fled in terror and leaped from the Acropolis to their deaths. Some accounts say one of the sisters was turned to stone instead. Let us finish with the following saying. The evil decision is most evil for him who takes it. Hesiod. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.